believes we should be taught stuff, subjects that we will benefit from, like technology, computer skills, languages like Arabic, Spanish, French, and other things like that. We need to learn what we, what we will need in the future and what will build America. Parents should be told what are what will be given to their children, especially if it's against their religion and not and not okay with Christians, Muslims, and other religious beliefs. So parents can have trust when their parents are gone for seven hours a day. And lastly, please think about us. We are the children of this generation and future parents of more children. I hope our education doesn't Relate to politics. Please let us live our childhood. Thank you for letting me speak. And the reality is, the proponents of LGBT liberal ideology here and elsewhere are fine with democracy as long as people vote for their fanatical views and as long as it supports their wicked agendas. If people vote against their views, the liberal authority blocks the democratic process and imposes the LGBT liberal positions on the populace. They are Hitler. They are the oppressors. They are radical extremists. Ladies and gentlemen, board of, members of the Board of Education, if democracy matters, we are the majority here in Dearborn. Let us draw the boundaries on appropriateness. And I urge you not to fuel the tensions and to truly support the majority decisions of families, students, and parents in Dearborn regarding what is appropriate content to allow or teach in our schools. And as far as we're concerned, our unity here is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And through this evil, we're able to know who to vote in or out. We're not here to just ban any book for no reason. There are reasons to remove these books from the shelves. And you guys have to understand the fact that it's your responsibility to do that. Not mine, not them. We're here because you guys failed to do that. Tomorrow morning, start moving these books from the libraries. Start working. That's it. That's what we need from you. Okay? Now... Last Monday, some of you talked about the opt-out form. I looked at the opt-out form. It's either my kids should be banned from all the books, and that's unrealistic, or I should state the title and the author of the book that they should not check. So I should do your job and check more than 500,000 books to do that? Does that make sense? That doesn't make any sense. You know, why don't you classify these books and move them out? Move them out. We will remember your names when August and November of every year comes. I will remember your names every August and every November comes if this matter is not solved. Our students come to school for college and career readiness. Kids do not come to school. Then back up, parents do not send their kids to school to explore their sexuality. That is not why people send their children to school. And also, we as a society have to love and be kind to everybody. Absolutely. All of us, even many of us who stand in agreement on this issue of parents' rights disagree on certain issues. But it is a false narrative that parents who do not want their children exposed to graphic sex acts somehow hate somebody. That is nonsense. And when I look at what our kids are exposed to in the media, the last thing they need to do at school is learn how to sexually pleasure themselves. Also, I haven't heard the comment made recently, but many of the speakers here disparage the parents here as though they're being held captive by some right-wing agenda. Like the parents in this room are too stupid too ignorant to come to their own conclusions like they, have their, they don't have their own set of morality to not want their kids exposed to this content. I'm speaking as a parent. We, the parents of America, are tired of the schools turning into social and political machines instead of institutions of higher learning as we are watching the students of America slip behind on a global scale to compete Academically, this is not the time for more sexualization. And also, parents have a right to determine what their kids are exposed to. I think it is absolutely unacceptable for people in education to think that they know what's best for somebody else's child. 
God gave me my child, not the school district. And I guarantee you that every parent agrees. And every parent has a right to object to the things their kids are being exposed to. But there is a breaking point. And the breaking point is this. The fundamental existence of school is not to learn about sexual pleasure, to not to learn about new sex acts. The fundamental purpose of school is to prepare our kids to be successful adults who can go off and have careers. And it is up to every parent to then teach their kids morality. It is out of the place for the school to do it, and I reject any notion that parents here are filled with hate or bigotry. The parents don't want their kids sexualized. If other people want to sexualize their kids, that's their business, not our that we don't care whether the pornographic photos and erotic speech are homosexual, lesbian, or straight. There is pornography in any books available to kids and teens. We want that out, gay or not. And to one person earlier saying that porn and books is the American way, keep that phony American way in your home, not in our communities. Parents have responsibilities and try to upbring their children in the best way possible. And they send their kids to school, which is supposed to be a safe haven, Come to find out these books in schools are teaching kids that, to make decisions they are not capable of making. You aren't their parents. And if parents want to show this kind of disgusting material to their kids, that is their choice to be made at home, not at school. Nobody is perfect and everybody makes mistakes. But mistakes are quickly resolved or at least a great effort is given to make things right. Why are we split in the first place? Does the LGBT community show porn to their kids growing up? I don't think so. As a married man and inshallah a parent in the future, this scares me. I do not accept this and Dearborn should not accept this. And just knowing that these books are in our environment is disturbing. And we students do not feel comfortable in the library and knowing these pedophilia-like books are present in the heart of our community. Children are seemingly old enough to read or look at such promiscuous content. Why can't they live independently? Drink what they want, smoke what they want. There's a reason they can't, and that's because they are impressionable bodies given to us as a trust from God to nurture and mold them into human beings in our great American society. But not, uh, but not only are children incredibly impressionable, they can be extremely impulsive. The decisions they make are always factored by the friends they have, the shows they watch, and the books they read. And of course, I must say, I'm not here to bash the LGBTQ community. That's not my intention. And to be completely honest, at the moment, I couldn't care less.